When the 2010-2011 tennis season began, fifth-year head coach Danny Westerman was feeling pretty darn good about his team's prospects. The Pioneers had a big chunk of talent returning from the previous year, a season in which DU reached the NCAA tournament. But during the fall season, a couple of close losses, coupled with a couple of personnel losses, gave DU an unwanted reality check. I can't say arrogance. I mean, our guys aren't arrogant. Uh, they're, they're good kids. They work hard. But I think they just thought it was just going to happen because all, we won every close match the year before. And uh, when we lost a few of the close matches, I think they were, they were surprised. And I think overconfident is a better word for it. When the calendar turned to 2011, the Pioneers quickly turned things around, thanks in great part to a different approach. The guys really came back ready to go in January with a newfound uh, motivation and focus and energy. You know, there's still another half of the season. We still have conference, you know, maybe NCAAs, we'll see. And like, this is the time where we can really step it up. And boy, over spring break, everybody stepped up huge, played awesome. It was a totally different team. A couple of wins turned into a seven match winning streak. DU went from nowhere on the national scene to a top 75 ranking in the blink of an eye. I, I, it was in us. I don't know what I expected, just because it was such a such a different year. Uh, but uh, I was impressed with the fact that our guys really just buckled down. They weren't worried about our record. They weren't worried about our ranking. All those things kind of took care of themselves if we put in the time and we won some close matches. The Pioneers' spring turnaround made them the top seed at the Sun Belt Conference tourney. But in the semis, DU was upset by Middle Tennessee, a very painful setback. By far the most, the saddest moment, and it just kind of it hit me all at once, and it was wow, that's that's it. It could have saved our year. Winning that, the winning that tournament could have put all the issues we had, uh, the fall, the spring, losing a player mid-year, losing a guy to injury all year. All those things could have been somewhat erased with that win. I, I felt like they wanted it so badly that they didn't let their their ability take over. There were certainly some bright spots this year. Four Pioneers were named All-Conference, Ane Bonin and Yannick Weiss in singles, along with Andrew Landwerlin and Jens Vorkefeld in doubles. Bonin qualified for the NCAA singles tourney, finishing the year ranked in the top 70. Denver loses just two players to graduation. One of them, Andrew Landwerlin, thinks the Pioneer program is headed straight to the top. The sky's the limit. Um... Danny Westerman's an unbelievable coach. Chris Lamb's an unbelievable coach. They can take this to the very top. The guys that are playing right now are just going to help them do it. This, this can easily go to be a top 10 program. Next year, we will have eight, nine guys that can all play for us. And I haven't been able to say that probably in four years. So uh, I'm excited about that. I'm excited to see how practices change with that kind of depth. Uh, because there won't be any guaranteed spots in the lineup. So that, that'll bring another level of competition, which would be great for us.